say, can you see? stripes and bright stars through the perilous sight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets today and I thought what better way to end our July the 4th holiday weekend here on Monday July the 6th yeah was to sing the Star Spangled Banner to our flag to the wonderful flag of the United States of America some of you may remember back on Memorial Day we were sitting here and I that's when I had the flag up and we talked about the flag we talked about Flag Day which happened on June the 14th and we talked about the significance of that for our country, but there's no better time than to reflect on the flag and what that means than July the 4th, which is our Independence Day here in the United States. I know many of you have learned about this in school and celebrate it with your families, either at home or sometimes on vacation. Some of you may be at the beach. I think Harris and Will and Sally Vaughn are at the beach. I think other people are camping. I think maybe Taylor and Ryder Cobb might be camping. Not sure. But anyway, this is a wonderful celebration for our country. And it allows us the time to think about what we get to do and all the liberties and the freedoms that we get to share, not only just with ourselves, but with all of our fellow citizens within this country. Yesterday at Drive Up Worship, we welcomed Dr. Elizabeth Foss to our church. She was wonderful, such warmth and such a terrific sermon did she give yesterday at our Drive Up Worship. And so one of the things that I'm thankful for in this country is the fact that we get to worship God freely. We get to come together as Christians and worship God with one another, but this time also with our new pastor, Pastor Elizabeth. And it was just a wonderful thing to be together yesterday. And I hope that this weekend you all have gotten to be with your family and that you've taken a moment to remember, just like we just did with our dogs, the joys, the freedoms, the liberties, all those wonderful things that we get to share together in being Americans. So never forget that. Never forget how fortunate we are to be able to be to live in this country. And even though right now it's still tough because we're battling the coronavirus and we can't always do and be as free as we want to, I think what's also wonderful to remember and what I'm remembering 
what Jake is remembering is when we go out and we put our masks on, that we're not only doing that for ourselves, but we're doing that for others. And I think on July the 4th, it's a very special time to remember all of those who serve our country now, especially in the military, but also all of those who gave their lives in service to this country so that you and I could live with the liberty and freedom that we get to today. It's remarkable, isn't it? It's really something to ponder. It's really something to think about. Because oftentimes we get to do what we want to do because somebody else gave their life or their time or their energy for us. And that's a wonderful thing to live with in life, the idea to give. And that as Americans, we want to give. We've done so much for our world and for our planet as Americans, for freedom and democracy, so that others can live free like we do. So let's never forget that, boys and girls, especially now. And I thought today, like we did on Memorial Day, it's wonderful to be able to open up our Diet Pepsi. There go the dogs getting their squirrels. That's for you, Dad. I love you. And it's also kind of difficult that we're not going to really get to share baseball soon. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with all of that. But I don't think there's anything better on July the 4th holiday than to have a hot dog. Don't you think? Mmm. Last week we had s'mores. This week we're having hot dogs. So boys and girls, let's end today with our Pledge of Allegiance. Okay? So wherever you are, stand up with me. Let's put our hands over our hearts and let's say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I love you. I love each of you. And let's end today. Come on, Bear. Let's end today with our final prayer. Come on, Bear. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we are absent one from another. I love you. God bless you. And God bless America.